meetings like Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. And this, good Gordon Smith, this is incredible. <laughs> this, <laughs> I was thinking about that what for at least it? two minutes before I said it. Um, what was it? Yeah, what was, no, what was the, what was the Gordon, um, the, 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 the thing that we say in England where, where it's like, and it's got the word Gordon in it, and it's like a, it's like uh, a uh, um, good lord, you know, it's uh, like uh, a, Gordon, Gordon Bennett. Bennett. Gordon Bennett. Well, hello. Welcome. Uh, hi. Another episode of I come flying the flag, flag for England here, look. Can you just stomp yeah, on your uh, distortion pedal and then the, some of the hum will go away? Oh, we're playing so loud today. It's still humming in my ears, Lee. <laughs> is, that, is that outside or inside? I, I think actually there's some aircon or something in here. Yeah, it's the aircon. So, as you guys may know from watching copious amounts of YouTube over the last year or so, ever since uh, Britain uh, decided to, or voted to leave the European Union, folly, the value of sterling against most other currencies has dropped through the floor. Mm. Meaning that imported instruments into the UK, such as Fender and Gibson and things like that, have gone up, you know, a fair bit. Uh, so I thought, we really ought to go looking for stuff that's made in England, mm. or made in Britain, and just and see... And there's not a lot, is there? There's very little. Mm -hmm. Amps we're relatively blessed with. You know, there are, you know, you've got brands like uh, Orange, Orange Marshall, Marshall Victory, Victory, and even brands that aren't necessarily Ashton. made. Uh, yeah, it's a British brand. Don't know how much they make in the UK, but something that's paid. And even brands like Blackstar and, and Vox, who don't make anything in the UK, but they are fundamentally British brands. There is some value in buying those brands. But guitars, as Rob said, apart from a few boutique builders, mm. is really not a mainstream builder. No. actually in the UK. So even, even you know, the Chapman guitar brand, which we know and love, and again is a British company, those guitars are, are built offshore. Korea and Indonesia. These, however, are made in England um, by the Fair Folk of England, this Fair Isle. Smith have been around since the late 70s. They claim, actually no, I don't they claim, Wikipedia claims to make it the longest running British brand or British guitar manufacturer of all, which I suspect they probably are, unless, they, unless again there's a little sort of boutique brand that says, you know, I started doing this in 1975. Well, no, they, they um, definitely wouldn't have that accent, Lee. Well, they might do, it depends where they're from. I guess they could do. So, now Gordon Smith's had a few famous players over the years. Uh, so you've, you've probably seen guitars like this around, and I guess they are most famous, or uh, or you'll be most familiar with the two basic body shapes that Rob and I have got. So the, the single uh, the single cut slab body, very reminiscent of a Les Paul Junior, and the double cut. The double cut. Uh, which was that? That was like it was that called a Les Paul special? The double cut. Uh, I don't know, but they just or bought it, it out again. Just, they just a so. double cut Les Paul Junior. Call it a double cut Junior. Wrap around tailpiece, different pickups. So I'll, I'll, effectively, you've got the choice on Gordon Smith guitars of having. Uh, while, while we're doing this review, I've got something in my eye. So if you see me watering or kind of looking squinty, it's because I've literally just looking got, squinty. I've got something in my, in my, uh, in my right eye. While I'm suffering in pain while I do this for you, YouTube. It's worth saying these mm. look quite basic. Oh, for sure. Well, they are. They've quite cut basic. a few corners, haven't they? Well, should we say rather than cut only got half a pick guard here, Lee. They've not added anything unnecessary. Oh, that's one way of maybe. Um, so yeah, you get a choice of different colours, uh, solid colours, translucent colours, things like that. There's choices of what timber you want the guitar to be made out of, and you can have a single <laughs> P90 or a single humbucker. It's or, a Batman ghost eating the fretboard. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. It is. Or it's like a wizard's hat. Blitter, blitter, blitter. Or is it a Smurf's hat? <laughs> well, like that. Exactly like that. like that. And then it could be it's a like hat, or, or like an octopus, or what if it was the other way up? It's, it's a very fat whale with its mouth right open, and this is its fin at the back. Anyway. Better. 
as I've been trying to say for the last five minutes, you can have this with a, a combination of pickups. Like you might decide you want a humbucker and a single coil, uh -huh. or maybe you want a humbucker and a P90, or maybe you want two humbuckers. The choice is yours, because if you go to the um, Gordon Smith website, you'll see it's still kind of a custom shop. You know, you can right. spec up, you know, quite a few elements to what you want. Uh, but all these guitars, or at least the guitars that we've got here, which are the ones that, to be fair, we've sort of not really gone overboard with the spec on these, are all round about the sort of six or seven hundred pound mark. So the way they've managed to get the production in the U, in the, well, England, not the UK, I suppose. Uh, well, England is in the UK. I know it's... it was originally in Manchester. I have a feeling they've recently moved to Northampton, but anyway. that's still in England, though, isn't it? It is in the land of Ings. Uh, so the way they've managed to do that is obviously by by using more affordable parts. So, for example, obviously the tuners are unbranded, um, quite yeah. affordable tuners. The wraparound tail looks like it's kind of a standard. Um, would it be fair to say Chinese manufactured uh, hardware part? Almost I'm definitely. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All, all the all the bits are affordable, and you can see little things like, you know, for example. The headstock obviously is, is two pieces of wood that's been chopped. Well, it's not three. Well, probably well, that's three. a standard Gibson. But it's, it's more obvious that you can see a chop here. I'm finding all yeah. the faults first, you see, I'm being the negative guy, uh, bad cop. Um, but then it's made in England by people who've taken time, and the end result is that if you don't mind affordable parts, well, it's a player and it's a sounder. Yeah. And it sounds phenomenal and it plays great. It I, plays great, YouTube. It's. it's <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming a meme. It is a meme. Uh, so I, I kind of think Rob's really summed it up nicely, which is that you know clearly you know eighty ninety percent of the manufacturing cost has gone into choosing good timbers, having you know a, a good level of you know good what, attention to detail, good craftsmanship. Yeah, yeah, nicely fretted, nicely set I really set up. like the brass, brass nut, nut and the way they've attached it to the fret. The fretboard is really interesting. Oh, that's too. Quite, too it's the first screws, time I've ever it? seen. Uh, it screwed in like that yeah. to the fretboard. Um, but as Rob said, you know, relatively affordable. You know, these are the kind of machine heads and bridge stuff that. You it's hot in this venue, Lee. It is, isn't it? You, you might... know what? It's so hot, it's smoking! And uh, I think, you know, they've done a really, really good job yeah. at using affordable bits and making a really great playing guitar. I agree. <laughs> I think if you're, it wouldn't surprise me if you picked up guitars that were maybe two or three hundred pounds, and you found this kind of level of hardware on it. Yeah. You know? So I think I think that's what. We're, well, bars, what brass, we're nut, say. maybe. Sure, for sure. Well, yeah, the nut, the fretting, everything that is all indicative of us a more expensive guitar. Yeah. So it's just the bits. I did notice on one of the guitars, you know, it's like, kind of feels. That you know, they're not expensive feeling machine heads. But However, they, not an expensive if guitar. you were a Gordon Smith fan and you got one of these, well, the bits that are affordable are bits that you can change. I'm familiar with that concept too. So you could take that off and put an expensive one on. You could take the tuners off and put expensive ones on if you want to. At the end of the day, it's a great, great playing guitar. Does it matter that it's got affordable tuners and stopped out? It only matters what it feels and sounds like. It does. And it looks like. It which... feels and sounds like a blazing piece of joy. And then maybe back in some of the tone. Oh, by the way, I should say, I reckon the reason they've put the brass nut on is because the P90 is a little bit fat and dirty and warm, and that gives it a little bit more high end. Well, the, I meant the brass nut's on all of them, so I don't know. It's just obviously a thing. Thank you. 
It's brilliant. So look, you have a lot of fun with a, a single P90. I mean, even you know, you've got your your classic, your, your sort of woman tone kind of thing. Going. I could also be Manto. Um, let's change guitars, Robert. Okay. Come on, that one. So, got a couple of EMGs. <laughs> they're not EMGs. I, know they're not I don't EMGs. know what they are, actually. They, they, they don't really say on the website. They're, they're, they're just... Gordon Smith Gs. Yeah, oh, they're no, Gordon's they just look like, favorite. They just look like really nice. Do you know Gordon Smith numbers? wasn't a chap, it was two chaps. And one was called something like Ken Gordon, and the other one was John Smith. I didn't know that. I thought just it was saying. one person. No, it's two persons. A little bit of no idea though. if they've anything to do with the business anymore one suspects not given that it was a long time ago that they started it right so, um, so yeah so you can see uh, we've got double cuts here again we could have had single cut versions the I like the I like the um, model numbering that uh, Gordon Smith give them if you've got one pickup on your guitar yours is called it's called a GS1 yes. if you've got two pickups it's called a GS2 right and if you've got a humbucker and a single coil it's called a GS1 and a half can I make one very slightly negative <laughs> make as many negative comments as you I like just, it's people unusual always for saying me. you never make negative comments no, 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 so you should true. actually when I was in I Germany agree. on tour recently people were saying I like how you make negative comments also about German people though no I love German people <laughs> especially the food um, if you well try turning the volume up Oh, is it a bit close? All the knobs are a bit close together, are they? Well, you can't do it unless you do it like that. Yeah. It's the, the only way you can do it is like that, because if you try and put your finger in, it won't go. Now, for some reason, I've only got two knobs on my guitar, despite the fact that I've got two pickups, so... You've been robbed, mate. Robbed! Let's give you some tones. Do it. Like, so basically, you have to do that. You can't do the little finger thing, because it unless won't... Unless you've got very delicate thing. little fingers. Unless you've got the fingers of a child. You I have, want you have the hands of a worm, you have, the, have the legs of a woman. I'll wager your legs have never been snapped off at the knee in the middle of a storm. <laughs> Sorry, we are of the age of Blackadder. Get Black, 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 <laughs> say that sings like a bird Didn't captured and then released. Um, so I've got a slightly different set of pickups on mine, so I've got the single coil. Which, I don't know, still sounds pretty fat, doesn't it? It's yeah. quite hard sometimes, I think. Single coils, P90s, all that kind of thing. They, they don't sound gigantically different, do they? Um, I've had to roll the volume back off on mine because I've got You've got to set to beast mode. So, Thank you. 
It's like a chocolate box selection right. of tone, isn't it? I'm, I'm digging this amplifier. Again, I, know, I don't know if you've seen the Astoria video or whether that one's coming later or whatever, but uh, this sounds great. Yes. Let's jam out, Rod. Okay. And uh, this is the end of our Gordon Smith video. I shall end by saying there are a plethora, uh, which if you don't know what that word means, it means a large board. amount of options on Gordon Smith guitars. And you can either telephone Andertons or email us or whatever and say, can you help me put together a particular spec? Or, uh, it's a bit of an archaic looking website, the Gordon Smith one, but if you, you can uh, basically sort of bumble your way through that, and you can put together your own spec and then we didn't overtly we'll say the about. prices although well, it's got a barrel like tags six, but seven, eight so 750 pounds, quid depending on what you want they come with gig bags did I show you the at least certainly the ones Anderton's ordered came with gig bags maybe these are optional extras I don't know but look Gordon Smith that's my name it's not though it's Lee except it's not yeah it would be if I was called Gordon I think it warrants the classic mm. tune Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. Yeah.